you will hear a tourist information officer explaining local walks to visitors. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 15. Welcome to everyone here. I hope you enjoy your stay in our village and enjoy the local scenery. I'll tell you a bit about the forest and mountain tracks in a minute. But first, I'll just give you an idea of where everything is in the village. So, we're here in the Tourist Information Center, and when you come out of the center, you're on Willow Lane, just opposite the pond. If you want to get to the supermarket for your supplies of food and water, go right. That's the quickest way, and then turn right at the top of Willow Lane, and it's the second building you come to, opposite the old railway station. If you're planning on doing some serious climbing and you need some equipment, we do have an excellent climbing supply store just five minutes walk away. Turn left once you're outside the Tourist Information Center. Take Willow Lane all the way up to Pine Street. You want to go left along here. Then keep walking and go up Mountain Road on your right until you come to the next turning on the left. Head down there and you'll come to the Climbing Supply Store. If you get to the small building that sells ski passes, you'll know you've gone too far. You also need to head to Pine Street for the museum. It's small, but well worth a visit if you're interested in the history of the village and the old gold mining industry. So, when you reach Pine Street from here, you'll see the old railway line on the other side of the road. Turn left into Pine Street and keep going until you come to Mountain Road. And just past here, the museum will be on your left just behind the railway line. Don't worry about crossing over the tracks. The train stopped running through here in 1985. If you're planning on following one of the easier forest walks, you might like to hire a bicycle. To get to the hire shop, again, you need to head to Pine Street. On the left-hand side of Pine Street, you'll see the town hall. Go down the little road that you come to just before it, and you'll find the bike hire shop just behind the hall. They have a good range of bikes, so I'm sure you'll find something that suits your needs. Last but not least, if you're hungry after a long day's trek, I can recommend our local cafe. Again, when you leave the Tourist Information Center, Turn right and follow Willow Lane until it joins Pine Street. And right opposite, on the far side of the railway tracks, is the cafe.